about 28 days, if you're in a mood, it becomes a state. So you, you don't want to be tapping into the state, the mood of depression and then make it your state or the mood of negativity and make it your state, right? God calls you to a higher place. Hello, and thank you for joining me. As um, Christmas is coming up nice and quickly, we are working to get into the spirit of things, just keeping our higher order values in our hearts and mind aligned with everything God has in store for us. So these higher order values. So every um, video, we start off with prayer for the world. We start off with prayer for Lahaina, Oahu, the big island. So all that's going on within the Hawaiian Islands, but we also lift up the whole world. And at, during this holiday season, you know, we're also lifting up those who have lost loved ones who are grieving uh, or in any kind of hard place because holidays can be very challenging for a lot of people. So we are focusing on healing, peace, love, and joy. So here we go. Let's just lift it up to God. And we just lift all our prayers up to God and we lease our cares to God for he cares for us. And we're going to pick up where we left off with Neville Goddard's At Your Command. And Neville has a lot of very um, sometimes challenging ideas. Uh, we are not challenging um, the historical Bible, God's word. He's helping to look at it in a different way metaphysical and psychological way that may help you to exit the lands of Egypt you may be in and walking into the promised land boldly. So we're going to pick up where we left off. Okay, so where we left off last, he was talking about Cap's feeling, that the feeling was critical. You need to feel the quality of the consciousness and you need to feel yourself to be it. So moving on, you are healed from your problem when you touch the solution of it. Solution orientated, right? So who touched me? For I perceive virtue has gone out of me. Yes, the day you touch the being within you, feeling yourself to be cured, feeling yourself to be healed, virtues will come out of your very self and solidify themselves in your world as healings. And for me, Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. He is the door to embodying this feeling. Every teaching that Jesus did, he showed us how we can do these things and how we can come into communion with the Father and how we can allow the Holy Spirit to counsel us. So, you know, I have, may have a little different take on Neville's work, but here we go. So it is said, you believe in God, believe also in me for I am he. Have the faith of God, right? God is not double-minded, very straightforward. He made himself one with God and found it not robbery to do the works of God. So yes, Jesus was the human form of God, right? Come down to show us the way, the truth, the light, the crucifixion, all these things. Jesus showed us that we can have victory over death through him. So go you and do likewise. Okay, we are encouraged to glorify God through following the gifts that he's given us. You know, tithing our gifts, tithing our gifts of joy, tithing our gifts of service. So dreams, goals, visions, purposes, acts of service, all these things glorify God. So go you and do likewise. Yes, begin to believe your awareness, your conscious a being to be the awareness of God within you. So claim for yourself all the attributes that you have here unto given an external God and you will begin to express these claims. So Neville was trying to help us to see 
that you don't want to keep putting it out there on out on God, but to realize that we're not the big God, but God lives within us. And so when we have that knowing that God lives in this temple, we cannot harm this temple. But we also, with great power comes great responsibility. With great intelligence comes great responsibility. With great gifting comes great responsibility. We are to pick up our responsibility and give our best to life. And in so doing, we glorify God. So claim for yourself all the attributes that you have hereunto given to an external God and you will begin to express these claims. For I am not a God afar off. I am nearer than your hands and feet, the breath, yeah? Nearer than your very breathing. I am your awareness of being. I am, and God is not aware of us being crap. He's not aware of us being, he is aware of us being solution oriented. He is aware of us being in our higher order values. He is aware, you know, he's our protection, our shield and the way. So I am that in which all that I ever shall be aware of being shall begin and end. For before the world was, I am. And when the world shall cease to be, I am. Before Abraham was, I am. This I am is your awareness. So I remember I was going to this class once and it was on healing. And one of the speakers was a Buddhist um, teacher. And she said that even in her journey with Buddhism, she had learned that we live, move, and have our being within God. And that God is sovereign and that we are to come to God. So very interesting. Anyway, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Okay, so we need God's help. The Lord being your consciousness, except that which you seek is first established in your consciousness. You will labor in vain to find it. So the mind, the Bible says renew our mind. When our mind is in that higher consciousness, we will not be laboring in vain. We will be able to find it. So all things must begin and end in consciousness. And that's why we want to protect our mind. We don't want to do things to destroy our mind through foods, chemicals, drugs, alcohol, negative thoughts, right? We want to, um, Dr. B. Sirius and Dr. Rui Ryburn, you know, said that about 28 days, if you're in a mood, it becomes a state. So if you, you don't want to be tapping into the state, the mood of depression and then make it your state or the mood of negativity and make it your state, right? God calls you to a higher place. So, so blessed indeed is the man that trusts in himself. For man's faith in God will ever be measured by his confidence in himself. You believe in God, believe also in me. Put not your trust in men, for men but reflect the being that you are, and can only bring to you or do unto you that which you have first done unto yourself. So what is out is going to reflect in, and it's going to give us a little window to what's going on within. So no man taketh away my life. I lay it down myself. I have the power to lay it down and the power to take it up again, no matter what happens. So this is part of what this channel is about is encouraging you to pick up, take the power of lifting your life up to glorify God in doing your dreams, goals, visions, acts of service and purposes. When you're actively playing full out in the world, you are going to change lives. You're going to change the whole field. And that's what we're doing. That's why we do our prayers. When we start, we're holding the whole world and the places closest to our hearts. We're lifting them up in unison. And those prayers are being answered. We may not know how it's being answered, but they are. So no man manifestation comes unto me, except the father within me draw him. And I and my father are one. Believe this truth and you will be free. Man has always blamed others for that which he is and will continue to do so until he finds himself as cause of all. So if you're in 
the victim state, you are not going to be able to rise up to be all God has brought you to be. You're not going to be able to heal in the state of victimhood. You're not going to be bringing in abundance or your best life if you stay in the victimhood. So we want to drop that. We want to stop blaming others. And sometimes we need to keep distance from others that want to keep us in that mode or see us in negative lights, right? We change our environment. And we, sometimes we got to change everything, foods, the peoples, the waters, the places. So, okay, I am comes not to destroy, but to fulfill. I am the awareness within you destroys nothing, but ever fill fold the molds or conceptions one has of oneself. So <laughs> boom, Neville continues to hammer in the point of how important it is the awareness of ourselves and the conception that we have of ourselves and if we have a negative or poor conception we're not going to be able to carry into life our dreams goals visions acts of service purposes our best life and we're you know no people are not going to want to be around you like a lot of times people do not want to be when you're learning entrepreneurship they tell you you are the five people closest to you i would say this for healing and i would say this for anything when you look at those five people, a lot of times entrepreneurs and business know if somebody is like in this negative state, they stare clear because they have things to do, things to make happen. Um, and it can't be keep being pulled down or double minded. So it is impossible for the poor man to find wealth in this world, no matter how he is surrounded with it until he first claims himself to be wealthy. So the mindset, the consciousness, but must be aware of wealth for us to bring in wealth. For signs follow, they do not proceed. Okay, that Neville, again, he, he's like this layered cake and the sweeter it gets. Okay, he's saying this again, signs follow, they do not proceed, right? So the consciousness, the mindset must be there first. And also we know from the Heart and Math, Heart Math Institute, how important the heart is. The heart field is, is bigger. Like it's larger than the mind, but you gotta, we're focusing on our consciousness, our mindset, and we're also caveating that, that you wanna make sure your heart is cleansed and open and radiating at love and above, or at least compassion. So to constantly kick and complain against the limitations of poverty while remaining poor in consciousness is to play the fool's game. The other thing I would like to know is as we kick and complain about limitations of poverty, we it is taking precious time away for us to take action to actually change that poverty mindset to change that situation. So we wanna get that elbow grease out. We're not afraid to put in the time to put in the work to whatever word you want to put it in I'm not but I'm not afraid the word work is not scary to me it's we have to put take that action and we got to put that time in and then we will bear the fruit so they'll know us by our fruit and we have good fruit so change cannot take place from the level of the consciousness for life and constantly out picturing all levels okay wait, let's do that but changes cannot take place from the level of consciousness for life and constantly out picturing all levels okay follow the example of the prodigal son realize that you yourself brought about this condition of waste and lack okay and that takes sometimes you got to dig dig and you just got to take responsibility you know you can't like he's saying we can't keep blaming very good points here so you brought about this condition of waste and lack and make the decision within yourself to rise to a higher level where the fatted calf, the ring, and the robe await your claim. Woo <laughs> so, so many great points. Um, and gosh, Neville, we just, he loved people. He wanted to pick people up out of the muck and mirror. He wanted people to know that their imagination was important and that we created our lives through our consciousness and the feeling states like he oh my gosh okay so anyway thank you so much for joining me um i am praying for each and every one of you as you know you you matter you have a purpose you have dreams visions goals purposes acts of service all here to glorify god on the planet and it's a lot funner to exist within these positive states and resonating with these fields of goodness and today if you needed a sign to know get going 
this is the sign get going and the other thing is no self-harm no suicide none of these things pick yourself up you know find the resources do not give up because you are precious and i'm just wanting to let you know i'm praying for each and every one of you and uh, please like subscribe and leave your positive comments you know your positive comments could reach somebody in a very dark place or just in a pivotal point where they want to give up on their dream goal vision purpose access service and your positive comment could be the thing that turns it around and i just want to give a very special thank you to dale who continues to consistently support me thank you dale i appreciate you all right so praying for you all a merry christmas we're coming up on it and thank you to Benzie Darling and Brand My Tube for all the all the goodness that you have given me this year. And uh, so may you be in and at peace. <laughs>